see Poppy. So I thought I'd show you her before we started the reading. She's really camera shy. She hates the camera. So um, she's kind of just staring off into space at this moment in time without actually looking at the screen. So I hope you guys are all okay and that you've had a really good week. This week, what we're going to be doing is, is it really over between you and your person? So we've got two decks for you to pick from. I'm going to just focus on the Lenormand to begin with. Okay, so this is deck number one and this is deck number two. Poppy says pick a deck, okay? Number one, number two, or pick a card, whichever way you want to see it. You go in, whichever way you want to see it. Number one and number two. So think about you, think about your person, and as you're thinking about that energy, just go to the card that you are most drawn to, okay? And what we're going to do is go into the strongest mutual energy between you all. So I have got tarot out as well, but I'm just going to really focus on the Lenormand to begin with to give us an indicator of where the energy is at. It works very much on a direct energy. Um, it works using you guys' energy, your people's energy, and pulling out the strongest energy between you all. So Lenormand number one, deck number one, card number one, whichever way you want to look at it. So is it really over? So we're going into all your energies, all the collective energy. Think about your person for me. Can we get into their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes? Okay, the first thing that's coming up in my right ear is Katy Perry. Um, I can't remember if the song's called it. Just because it's over doesn't mean it's really over, but that song that's coming into my right ear. So what uh, is it over between their people and those watching? Can we have the collective energy of everyone, please? Is it over? Is it over between the collective of deck number one? Okay. Three. Four. Five. Okay. Right. So let's talk through the Lenormand first and then I'm going to pull your tarot cards at the same time. So it looks like you guys um, have come to a bit of a standstill, that things have come to a little bit of a stop. But it also looks as if there is going to be a new meeting happening between the two of you. OK, so at the moment you are in this sticky situation where things have come to a close, where it's a little bit down. You don't really know what they're thinking. You don't really know what is going on. But also there is this need to meet up with one another and talk things through. So straight off the bat with that song as well, there is an indicator that this relationship is not over between the two of you. In fact, Spirit is saying that it's only just really beginning. There are new chapters being opened in this story. So it might feel that everything is down and heavy and low, but there is definitely a social gathering that is going to be coming up between you both. That social gathering that you guys are going to meet, you know, it could be online, it could be face to face, it could be anything like that. You guys are going to be having a social event, it could be a party where you're all invited. Um, but this is going to be leading to a successful time between the two of you. So anywhere that there has been deep roots and deep pain and deep hurt, that is still going to be there. But there is going to be this need to talk things through. And once you've spoken things through, it's going to ease up between the two of you. Your person is going to know what they want from the situation as your mum. Remember, it's never sexually orientated or gender specific, but with Lenoma, there is always a male and a female. So your person is going to be um, realising that this is something that they want to see the next chapter to kind of happen with. They're going to be thinking that this is something that they want to engage in again, bringing it back up. Spirit is saying it's like a drug. Okay, your connection is like a drug. It could be a twin flame connection with that analogy being put forward into my ear. Um, that this energy between the two of you is very strong, it's very addictive, and that is the connection type that is between the two of you. Sometimes it can be borderline toxic, spirit are saying, but really if we just focus on the essence of unconditional love between the two of you, um, it's likely to be a twin flame connection. Through that you have your success and your victory. OK, so right off the bat, the connection is not over between the two of you. And if anything, it's going to be coming up again. Um, there is a four involved in this. So it could be four weeks, four months, the fourth of a month. Um, but either way, you have your success. And now if we look at the whole of the Lenoma cards, this card here is the best card in the whole deck because it's the winner. The game of hope and you have this as your very very last card so you've got this kind of ending but then rebirth of the situation okay so it might be at a close at the moment but it's going to rebirth it's going to re um reopen up okay so that's the lenoma let me have a look at your tarot so we're using this deck for your tarot can you get me into deck number one's energy please 
Don't you know what I'll own? Okay, think about your person for me. Can we get into their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes, and all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes of the numeral boom. My best Portuguese. Okay, let's do this. Can you tell me, is it over with the people watching and their person? Is it over between them? One, two, three, four. It's not over. It's not over. Let me just get one more. There is a bit of a sticky point here that it isn't over, but you guys aren't really sure about how it can progress. So it could be that you are involved in situations where there's other people or circumstances are just making this a little bit more difficult so it's not over but you don't really know how it's going to be able to progress and that progression route is really going to be happening when you guys meet up face to face or through internet and you talk about things so the first thing that's kind of coming up with the tarot is this conflicting energy coming from the situation that you know it's not over you feel it's not over you sense it's not over your mind starts to play tricks on you and you think how can this situation progress okay now every single one of your people what every single one of you watching your circumstances are completely different from the next person um but spirit are saying with this as you kind of collective energy on it try not to think through the logical side of things let the universe take control of it so if you've been worrying that it can't progress you don't know what's going to happen what direction it's going in then you really need to kind of take a step back from that and say okay universe you know what i want you know what i want from this situation can you bring it to me because if you're trying to control it you're going to end up blocking it so do be aware of that okay so the first thing that's kind of coming up in the tarot, I've got dog hair on my face now. First thing that's coming up in the tarot is this conflicting energy going on. Now, your person, when they come back towards you, is going to be starting to offer you something more than what they have done before. So they might not have offered you the world, they might not have offered you even a relationship, um, but when they come back towards you with your Knight of Cups, this is their emotions coming very strongly towards you. Now it might be your ex-boyfriend or something along those lines, but this, this or girlfriend, there is a very strong love here, okay? And they just need a bit of time out from the situation to realise what their emotions are. And Spirit is saying with that, that if it has gone through a cycle before where you've walked away from one another and they've come back, the cycle will keep on repeating until all the lessons are learnt okay so it's not over your person's going to come towards you with some kind of emotional um emotional conversation that's going to be had when you guys meet up and through that you will start talking about which way what direction it's going in and what the future is between the two of you there is that con conflicting energy still okay your person's not going to have had a personality transplant they have realized what they've lost they have realised what life is like without you. And that is what's going to make them come towards you with this kind of Knight of Cups energy, this love energy. They will be coming towards you with that. But at the same time, they haven't had a personality transplant. So if you're expecting them to be changing for who you know who you want them to be, please remember that we shouldn't ever try and change anyone. We have to accept them and be an allowance of who your person is. And that is what unconditional love is. It's loving someone without hope and agenda of where it is going. And that is what your lesson is here, really. You know, your lesson here is to love without conditions for your person and your person loving you without condition. There is hope that it's going to work out between the two of you. You are both still holding on to hope. You've both still got a chance that this is going to be progressing in the right direction. But a lot of stuff from the past has got to be put to bed. If there's jealousy issues, if there's insecurity issues, if there's stuff that's happened between you guys in the past, there is going to be a need to talk this through. And if you guys can open up and talk um, talk in a mature manner, where all kind of cards are laid on the table and you speak it through, then the progression route between this is good. If your person starts going back to that old behaviour on how they treated you in the past, the same cycle will keep repeating, okay? So overall, between the two of you, it isn't over, you know, you're having this downtime, you're having a break, you're having this lack of communication between the two of you or whichever way it's going, but it isn't over. Now, your person has also got a lot of fears with regard to this situation. They're worried that um, if they let you into their heart, they're going to end up getting hurt, that you're going to end up getting hurt. But at the end of the day, Spirit is saying that love will win. Love will win over these fears. Um, they are frightened. 
they are frightened. It is affecting their self-confidence as it is affecting your self-confidence because you guys are thinking, did I do something wrong? Was it me? Was it them? How did it work? And Spirit is saying with that, just remember, remember, it takes two hands to clap. Okay, so you have this kind of energy that the two of you, it's not just one person or the next person. The energies are always mixed and amalgamated. Okay, so it does take two hands to clap. But your person, their behaviour hasn't been the best. Let's say that. It hasn't been the best. But they have realised what they've lost. And if they haven't realised yet, that yet, they will be realising that in the fall that Spirit gave us at the very, very start. So there is an opening, a new opening happening in, happening in this relationship. If you guys can talk it through honestly, open-heartedly, with very easy communication between the two of you, then this can head towards this Ace of Pentacles and you guys can have this new stable foundation for the two of you to build on. If your person revert, reverts back to their old behaviour, you need to work out if this is something that you want to be involved in. OK, um, it's going to come potentially come down to a choice over here of who do you love more? Do you love yourself more? Do you love them more? And you might choose to step away from that. OK, if they revert back to that old behaviour. So, no, it isn't over between the two of you. There will be communication. There will be lines opening up. There is a lifeline being thrown at you. Spirit is saying where this is going to have a chance to rear its head again. What you want from the situation is going to come down to you guys. Um, and if you keep that communication open, um, honest, open hearted, then this can be built. This can build. OK, and you can have your success that comes from the end of it. Your person is really realising what they've lost. You know, they are having this, this, oh, my God, I'm never going to find anyone like them. I'm never going to see what my life has got. And I can't see you two inches in front of my face. I don't really know what I'm doing. Spirit is saying with that as well, you are consuming their thought process. So they are thinking about you a lot. They kind of try to turn their back on it a little bit in the moment and bury their emotions down deep. But there's only a certain t amount of time that that can happen for before someone reverts back to coming towards you because they're, they're denying their emotions. They're denying their heart and it doesn't work. You know, if you bat something under the carpet for so long, it will come back and rear its head. And this is what your person is going to happen with them. So they will come back to you. They will come back to you. And if you guys talk and can let go of stuff that's happened in the past, and really focus on building a future or the essence of unconditional love between the two of you, then there is this potential here for you guys to work it through. If you're worrying that they're not going to come back, that they're not going to text you, that they're not going to speak to you, that's all a load of bollocks. They will do all of that. If you're talking about a future, it is going to take work, but it's not over between the two of you. By no stretch of the imagination is it over. It's at the, at the moment, it's down. It's a bit of downtime, it's a bit dormant, it's a bit sleepy, it's a bit gone. But from that, you have got these progression routes. So a social gathering, okay? Downtime to social gathering. Social gathering to success, to victory. To kind of really feeling that you're back in the limelight with your person. They're going to make you feel that you are the person that they want to be with. They'll put you in that, on a pedestal. Potentially only for a little while, but they will put you on that pedestal. Um, your person is going to be really happy about that. And through that, you have this success that comes from it. So the likelihood of you guys sorting your, your shit out is, is kind of high. If you can talk through it openly and honestly. Okay, so no, it's not over between the two of you. In fact, as Spirit said, it has only just begun. And that is deck number one, okay? Uh, how, if you need me, I will put all the details in the description for you. Have a really good week, my beauties. Sending tons of love to you all, and I will speak to you soon. God bless, angels. Okay, guys, deck number two, Lenormand number two. So Lenormand work very, very differently from Tarot. They are very direct, they are very blunt, and they give us very honest answers. Um, so if you do not want to know the answer, it's best that you do not ask the question when it comes to Lenormand. If you're open to um, um, open to the answers, then you're absolutely fine to use them. If you don't want to know the answer, then you don't ask the question with Lenormand. So we're going to start off with doing five of these. Then I'm going to go on to your tarot, see what spirits say, see what the cards say and take it from there. So this is a brand new deck. This is the first time I've used it and they are adorable. They are called The Whispers, Lenormar. If you like Lenormar, um, Etsy. It's an Etsy job. Okay, can you tell me please, what is it over between deck number two? The collective energy, is it over? Is it over between them and their person? One, 
two. Okay, three. Looks all right, looks all right so far. Let's see, let's see if we can get a full house. Is it over four? We best have, we best have them. Okay, right, let me just kind of start off at the very, very end of this, which is not how long my words, but I'm being really drawn to it. You have got the stars and the moon coming up at the same time. Look how cute they are. They are adorable, aren't they? So at the very end, these last two cards that kind of jumped out here, Spirit is saying with this, that this is representing you guys' emotions for one another. And it really takes me back to like the kind of Game of Thrones vibe going on over here with Khaleesi and uh, Khal Drogo? with uh, you are my sun, you are my moon. Um, this is you guys' emotion, and it really is kind of indicating here a masculine and a feminine energy. Now, remember, we're never sexually orientated or gender specific, but this is more of a divine connection between the two of you. And this is a love connection. And this is a connection that has gone back time and time and time again. So it's likely that you've had a lot of past lives together. With that past life energy, there will be a bit of karma between you guys. So if you've been going through the shit and thinking, why me, why me? It's going to be the karma coming back round. So that karmic energy between you both is there. If you need a past life reading, just give me a shout. All the details are on the website. So you have this energy coming forward between the two of you, which is this very strong connection First and foremost, a very, very strong connection, very footed, spirit saying, very grounded. Now, you guys run off with the fairies with one another because the emotions take over and it is such an awe-inspiring, they're saying, an awe-inspiring connection that it brings this very strong energy forward. But you're also both kind of grounded with the connection as well. You know that there's more to this than meets the eye. You know that there is a stronger bond between the two of you. And your person doesn't fully understand why they have these strong feelings for you but they are aware that perhaps there is something more going on because you are just very different to them than anyone they have ever known. Okay, so these two, first and foremost, they are not the Lenoma. Well, they are the Lenoma, but they are not part of your reading. I just wanted to let you know. So between the two of you, let me just get one more because it kind of jumped out at the top. Can I have one more for the collective energy? And is it over between them and their person? Is it over? One more. Okay, that's fine. Okay, your cards are all right. You can breathe. So... First of all, we have the woman, which is signifying you guys watching. Now, it looks like you've gone away from the situation for a little bit. Potentially, some of you guys are thinking about travel or moving or stepping away from things. Um, but with regard to your connection, it looks like you guys watching have decided to take a step back from the situation. It's been really difficult for you to make that choice. It has been really hard, but you have chosen to do that for your best interest. OK, now from taking a step away from the situation, it could be because of the lack of commitment, but there is also a commitment coming in from your person. So the, you've took a step back from the situation through you taking a step back. You have the commitment coming forward that you want. OK, the ring really symbolises commitments, engagements, weddings, everything along those lines. So by taking a step away from the situation that you guys have done, you've got this commitment coming forward. OK. It's going to be kind of going in this bit of a cycle. That commitment is going to be um, perhaps a little bit here, a little bit there, but there is more than what you have previously experienced. There's been stress being put upon you from stuff that's happened in the past between you both, but this commitment is coming forward um, with a prosperous feeling towards it, with good health. OK, so yes, there is commitment coming in from your person. And yes, it does feel to be prosperous. It does feel like it can work out between the two of you. That prosperity as well as being echoed over here in some form of loyalty, companionship and friendship. OK, so you and your person look like you're going to be taking the next steps of this connection to engagement, to marriage, to prosperity, to building, to loyalty, to companionship, to a relationship. So by you standing in your power and being like, no, I'm not texting you, I'm not calling you, I am being in the Queen of Swords energy, I am the power here, you, um, you will come to me it's going to look like it's going to do the trick. Okay. So with all of this being put together, it's really positive. Then we have these two cards at the very bottom, signifying your connection, very, very deep, meaningful connection, a connection that can really go the distance between the two of you. Really good, right? That is really good. So let me just put these at the top in the order that they came in. Ship. 
Spring tree dog. If you didn't see Poppy at the start, if you just chat in, tuned in and turned on, uh, I had Poppy at the start of the video. Bit number two. So now we'll just look at your tarot. These are tarot. They're just teeny weeny tarot. I love this deck. It can be a little bit creepy. So if you don't like creepy decks, this is not the deck for you. Um, but I absolutely love a good old creepy deck. I just, I just love a creepy deck. Okay, deck number two. Think about your person for me. Can we get into their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes and all possibilities, probabilities, choices, choices and changes of deck number dois. Number dois. Okay, let's do this. Is it over between deck number two and their people? Card number two. Hey, good start. Good start. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Is it over? Two. Three, four. Oh my God, you are gonna love this. You are gonna love this. Let's just say, get one more. I have two more. No, that was the hand slip. One more, please. Is it over? No, no way. No way is this over. Okay, so let me show you the tarot. Ace of Cups. Seven of Cups. Ace of Pentacles the sun and the wheel of fortune. So if you wanted a full house, you have got one. Now, just quickly at the top of the deck that is staring at me, we have the three of swords. So you guys are going through this period of heartbreak and pain and suffering at this moment in time. But Spirit saying with that, please bear in mind it will be short lived. Okay, it might have been going on a little bit longer than what you anticipated, which is why you cho chose to step away from the situation. But your person is going to come towards you with this offer of commitment. Now, if we look at this commitment being brought, brought in with the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles, this is a new beginning based on romance. This is a new beginning based on stability and you have your commitment here. So we're mixing it all together. The most likely outcome for all of you watching is that you're going to get the commitment that you want from your person and they're going to offer you this new beginning much more stable much more grounded and that's why spirit said this connection is grounded okay at the very very start of this of deck number two they said the connection between the two of you is grounded and it is it's a grounded connection it's a strong connection and it is a connection that has stand, stood the standard stood the test of time so even though you're feeling really sad at this moment you've got this things moving in your direction you have had to really kind of stand in your power you've had a very difficult choice to make and look it's the same woman i love that it's the same woman. You've had different ch difficult choices to make. You felt like everything was kind of collapsing around you and you were really trying to keep your foot, foot on the ground of it all. You were hoping for things to turn around in the right direction for you and it hasn't been that easy. But what you have done is you have grown and you have developed from this connection. And now you are getting ready to reap the rewards, Spirit said. Um, over here we have this woman drinking wine, okay? It's kind of making the best out of a bad situation. You've been dealt some really shitty cards, um, but now your cards, literally your cards are changing into your favour. You've had a number of choices and decisions that you have had to make and it hasn't been easy. And when your person returns to you, it is not going to be easy still. There is going to be these choices that have got to be made, but you are going to be reaping the rewards of it. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. I just got this up from Starlight Express. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. I just heard a musical go around there. Um... And you're going to be seeing like, actually, you're going to be starting to build this connection on a much more stable foundation. You know, there is going to be this with this kind of tower in the background. Now, tower tower in Lenormand is very different from tower in, ta in, in tarot. OK, but spirit is saying with this one, this this is the Lenormand tower, tower, Lenormand tower, standing for stability, security, um, bonding, connection, very adamant, strong energy. And you are going to be reaping the rewards of that because you have worked so hard to be where you are today and it hasn't been easy. You have been through hell and back, but you are back, okay? You are coming out the other side and through that coming out the other side, you have this massive sense of commitment. Now, we also have the Wheel of Fortune and the Sun over here. Look how creepy, okay? Don't like creepy cars? Shut your eyes for a second. Look how creepy he is. I love him. Okay, so... On the other side of things, there is this breaking of a cycle between the two of you. There is this coming together and there is this happy outcome. So it looks like you guys are really going to get this together. You're really going to make, make it work between the two of you. You're really going to um, find this mutual ground and work towards the future. And I do see engagements, marriages, kids, 
I see the whole package with that number two. It's really, really positive. There is light in dark times here. And that was a quote from Harry Potter, wasn't it? Dumbledore said something, um, Spirit just said about Dumbledore said, uh, light can be found in the darkest of times or some happiness can be found in the darkest of times if only one remembers to turn on the light. And that is where you guys are. You're turning on the light. The, the good stuff is coming. You're ready to reap the rewards of these difficult times that you've been through. 2020 has been crap. For some of you, 2019 was crap as well. But really, you've got a full house of such positive cards between the two of you. Companionship, loyalty, commitment, connection, new beginnings, love, stabi stability, family, happy outcomes, breaking cycles, coming together, bonding, getting off the cycle that you've been involved in, getting ready for the next chapter. And it's really positive. So the fact that you guys have had to take a step away from this situation because you were finding it overwhelming, that you had to make these choices and it was so difficult for you, you're now going to be getting everything that you want, your commitment coming forward, your prosperity coming forward and your companionship. So you just need to ride out these crappy emotions for the time being. So at the moment, you know, you are coming, you go wave in and out of feeling okay and feeling shit, but you are coming to the close of this as the next chapter begins. Um, and let me get timing for you. So remember with timings, it's a, the mutual energy between you all. Um, if you want to look at individual timings, just give me a shout. I can do it over email question rather than having to book a full reading. If you want to just know a timing, when is this going to happen? When is this connection going to happen? Yeah, see, you just got the best card in the whole deck. You just got the anchor. It symbolizes the best card. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. Okay, um, September or the ninth of a month or nine weeks, um, something along those lines. Okay, it's just a fortune telling card, so using normal playing cards. There is a nine being brought into this energy. So it can be variant between you guys. It is your strongest mutual energy. It's not nine years. Um, it could be nine months for some of you. It could be September, nine weeks, um, something along those lines. But either way, with the anchor, this is showing the stability and security coming forward. This is the best card. Devil number one got it as well, but this is the best card in the whole of Lenema. It's the winner of a, a game they used to parlor game they used to play called Game of Hope. Lenamar didn't start off like Tarot, it started off as a parlor game that was played by people. Um, and then they realised they could use it for divination. Ooh. <laughs> so yeah, you've got this anchor coming forward, a nine. But really, either way, you've got this really strong progression. Very strong progression, very happy, happy connection. Things shifting and moving. If you really want to have a look, let me just show you really clearly your ring for commitment, your ace of pentacles for your stability, your security, your new beginning and your ace of cups for new beginnings romantically. Then we have the wheel. Kind of a bit like the game of hope, you know, it looks like they're playing the same game as the Lenema. Looks like, you know, the anchor, you'll win at this. You're going to be winning the sun, your happy outcomes. OK, kids, family joy happiness everything is there for you so no no it is not over not over um there is new chapters starting here and very very positive chapters that you haven't experienced before so get ready to receive my beauties okay so if you need me i will put all the details in the uh, comments for you i'm sending tons of love to you all look after yourselves have a really really good week and uh, i love you all lots much love from me and Poppy. Take care, guys. Bye.